Game Destroyers TV, welcome to the show. Darkpaw here and welcome back to Modshot. So today we have an AVR Puma self-propelled potato picker. It's a four row setup and it does everything. It tops as well as picks. It's quite an interesting setup. This back here was what threw me. It has this little double set of wheels back here which actually lift up when you unfold the, the unit. Now I don't have a big field, uh, you may recognize this, we're on gold crest today. Uh, Staffing back didn't have any potato crop planted at all and I didn't have time to get set up for it so. Let us unfold this. Pretty standard unfolding animation. And then we need to lower the head down like so. Start it up. And we will start rolling forwards into the crop. And as you can see, we're now picking and cleaning potatoes. Now it's got really nice particle animations on it where it's dumping out the dirt from what it's picking up and whatnot. So that's a nice touch. That is a huge machine for the size of this field to be honest. It's too large. But what I'm gonna do is just kinda just drive around a bit. And we're gonna see if this thing has a dirt layer. It probably does. It's pretty shiny but at the moment but I want to see if it gets dirty uh, also this strange design here the way it's built it's a curious looking piece of equipment it looks like it holds quite a few potatoes as well so We'll get a, a bunch in here and then we'll test out the unloading animation on it. And as you can see this wheel underneath actually lifted up when we got into the machines, uh, well unfolded the machine. Now it's just strange, it's a transport, extra wheel for transport for some reason. I've never seen that on a piece of equipment like that before. It does have four wheel steering so that's a benefit there. doesn't have any issues making turns and whatnot so yeah it's gonna hold quite a few potatoes in that hopper there make another turn here I know I'm probably missing some potatoes but I'm not too worried I'm not doing this for making money or anything it's just to test out the machine now the end cab view is actually pretty nice it's pretty detailed in here Oh, I'm kind of drifting all over the place. Actually, a pretty good cab position. You can actually see quite well from inside the cab where you're lifting the potatoes at. So that's always good. And you can get lined up pretty easily using the system. You well, know, using the view inside the cab. It's even got a little steady up there. <laughs> I do like the look of this mod. It's got plenty of beacons and whatnot on it as well. So you can transport and also plenty of work lights as well. I'm actually turning on the work lights you can see just how much dust animation there is on this. Dust, dust and dirt. It really drops a lot underneath it as you go along. So we'll just we'll rumble along here and gather up this little bit here along this edge and that'll give us a decent amount in the hopper and we'll try offloading. I'm just gonna dump it on the field like but it should be an interesting 
test to see how it does and there we go we're now unloading it has got a very high throw on that arm there I oh I can adjust the tip of the arm I never realized I could do that huh that's interesting I can also it's done on the mouse control I never noticed that in the, the instructions uh, it does have wow I clicked out of the game. And I don't need again. Damn it. Okay. So now you just fold it all back in. It folds up nicely. So there you have it. That is the AVR Puma. Let me actually unfold it a bit jump out and just have a look on this side oh and he actually jumped out a little early we'll finish the unfold there we go i do like this it does look a little dirty not as dirty as it could have been but the avr puma 3 is exactly what it's called you want to check it out, the link will be in the description below, and I will be back tomorrow with another mod shot. So till then everyone, stay safe.